Since when is drive through like a minimum of $30 for two people to eat? New inflation data this week confirms that prices at fast food restaurants are on the rise. And consumers, well, they've taken note. It's getting out of hand out here, bro. <laughs> I'm having to just start eating ramen noodles like college again. McDonald's Big Mac has increased in price by almost 90% since 2019. And guess what? That's not even the highest price increase at McDonald's. Fast food is not becoming, it is unaffordable. And look, we got a solution for you. You probably already using it, but we're going to go over it anyway. But we're going to talk about the shocking increases in price at these fast food restaurants. It's not your imagination. And it is also not your imagination that these portion sizes are shrinking. So why the price increases? In addition to pricier ingredients, labor costs have also been on the rise. The prices are increasing at a rate that we haven't seen really in modern restaurant industry. So much so that McDonald's has said it's noticing lower income consumers turning away from Big Macs and opting to cook at home. With food prices at fast food restaurants 5% higher than this time last year, consumers are turning to groceries where prices have risen at a slower 1.2%. In Orlando, Brooke Benson used to be a super fan of Panera Bread. For 12 years, she used to go three to four times a week. An outpost near her house showed prices at almost nine bucks for a bowl for the same soup that cost her about seven bucks three years ago. If I'm going to spend that eight, nine dollars, I'd rather get like a sandwich or something that for my family and versus just me getting a bowl of soup. Panera did not respond to requests for comment. Fast food companies operating on a franchise model insist that prices are up to their franchisees to set, which explains why prices may vary by location. Uh, the franchisor looks at this consumer backlash and is concerned about what this means for uh, their customer base and, and revenues. And, and I can tell you, you know, restaurant sales in the back half of last year definitely slowed down for sure. But consumer backlash may push companies to back off of attempts to pass on costs to consumers, following the social media uproar sparked by Wendy's plans for dynamic pricing. And $40 more at 3 a.m. We know you want it. Wendy's later clarifying it would not use surge pricing like rideshare apps, which increase prices during high demand times. Companies like Chili's are trying to advertise meal deals for under $11, taking direct aim at competitors as consumers look for savings. Hey, look, I know you guys got to make money out there with these fast food franchises, but I'm sorry, I can't play the game. My wife called me. She said uh, that she was getting ready to pick up some lunch for us at, she was out and about, and she was going to drop by Jersey Mike's. And she said she was using the app to order, okay? And she knows that I like uh, a particular sub over there. And... I usually get the whole so I can have one part of it for lunch and maybe dinner or eat it the next day for lunch. That's what we do, right? Not anymore because she called me. She said, I was about to go to Jersey Mike's to get the subs like we do. And she said, by the time I was finished building your sub in the app, it was $19 before taxes. I said, guess what? You did the right thing. Forget about it. She said, I'm headed to the supermarket. I'm going to get, you know, some sub rolls and, you know, all of the fixings and we're going to do it ourselves. We just cannot justify spending that type of money on fast food. I am sorry, Jersey Mike's. You are a great restaurant, but we can't do it. But look, Jersey Mike's is far from the only restaurant that is uh, realizing and, you know, invoking these increases in price. And they're happening for a couple of reasons. Number one, general inflation, okay? Yeah, when we go to the grocery store, we, experiencing, we're, we are experiencing higher prices for everything in there. Well, look, the restaurants, they got to buy food too, right? But not only do they have to buy the food at inflated prices, they then have to sell it at a price point that ensures they make a profit. So it's going to cost more than it would if, uh, you know, you went to the store and made it yourself. Okay. Uh, 
plenty of videos on YouTube on this platform that show you how to uh, make certain recipes or make them even taste better, right? Uh, I've used plenty of them to great effect. There's a channel, uh, Smoking and Grilling with AB. I really like that channel. Uh, you should check it out. There are plenty of channels like that, okay? We are, look, guys, we got to start eating at home because otherwise I'm not spending $20 a sub, all right, and jeopardize my ability to save money so that I can invest it. So what do we got here? We got inflation. The other reason for the price increases are wage increases. Now, some might say, well, they, the, the McDonald's workers deserve that money. They deserve $25 an hour out in California. I worked at McDonald's. No, we didn't deserve $25 an hour. Uh, I can say that from experience. Uh, there was nothing we were doing there that required a tremendous amount of skill. All right. Uh, and I worked there as a high school student. I worked there with several other people who were in high school with me. And every last one of us knew that this was not going to be a job that was going to support us as adults. All right. Um, unless we went into the management ranks and then, you know, maybe went into the ownership track. A lot of people won't like what I just said. I don't care because what I just said represents reality. I have never known a point where a job at McDonald's that wasn't a managerial job or higher uh, was something that you could support a family on, right? That's a pipe dream. So uh, instead of talking about, because America loves to talk about the minimum wage, the minimum wage, raising it does two things. It helps the IRS because it generally can push you into a different tax bracket, a higher one, okay? Especially when you go from $15 an hour to 25. Uh, so the IRS loves it. And the unions that fight for it and start crying and oh, we deserve this. We need this. We need this so bad. We need this, says this union activist. And in California, what unions want, they generally get. They're happy. The IRS is happy. But you can no longer take your family to McDonald's affordably. Okay, and you work there, right? Uh, so we can't play the game anymore, all right? We got to go to Walmart and get the lunchbox and a thermos. Price, uh, prices, rather, in general, have gone up about 21.5% since the events of 2020 struck. Uh, just general prices, right? But fast food price hikes have outpaced headline inflation by wild margins. All right, so let's take a look here at some of those increases. Now, we talked about the Big Mac. Uh, no, not the old McDowell's Big Mick. That would not have inflated. I am confident that the old McDowell would have kept the prices stable. But the Big Mac is up 87.7% since 2019. Uh, but the medium fry, hmm, that's up 134% since that same time frame. 134%, and they're not even the fries that uh, we were getting way back in the day. What happened with those fries is a group of Hindus sued McDonald's because McDonald's was using um, like beef tallow. That was like the secret ingredient to the McDonald's fries. And they said uh, they didn't like that, and McDonald's capitulated, and why, why you would... Uh, be Hindu and come into a restaurant that is known for serving beef. Got me. But in any event, all right, that's why the fries were better back in the day. So they don't even use that anymore. And the fries are up 134%. The McChicken is up 201%. But guess what? That's not even the highest percentage increase of a food item at McDonald's. The highest percentage increase is the lowly cheeseburger. The cheeseburger is up a whopping 205% from $1. Remember, that was something that was on the dollar menu, right? To, well, now they got to call it the $3.15 menu because the cheeseburger 
uh, on average across the nation at McDonald's costs three dollars and fifteen cent for a little patty. All right, um, that's about the width of a few sheets of paper. That's not even a hundred percent beef. McDonald's, I challenge you. I challenge you to prove me wrong. That thing has some soy in it. Okay. When I worked at McDonald's, this is inside information, guys. When I worked at McDonald's, the only patty that had blood coming up out of it was the quarter pounder. Okay. When you cooked it, the blood, you know how it does. The, uh, Patty for the hamburger, cheeseburger, and Big Mac, that's the same patty. Those look like a kind of like a gray substance, right? And look, I'm not down at McDonald's. I actually go to McDonald's occasionally, all right? Uh, <laughs> we have a big deal that we've closed for the company. We feel as though we are justified to go to McDonald's and spend $12 on a, or $16 actually. I did the video from McDonald's where I went there, okay, to test this out, test these price increases out. I got the number one meal, which was the Big Mac, large, and uh, a cheeseburger was uh, approaching $17 for that. But look, McDonald's is not alone. Taco Bell, now everybody knows Taco Bell used to be the place to go to get some cheap eats, right? Uh, the beefy five-layer burrito is up 118%. It went from $1.69 at the end of 2019 to $3.69 uh, mid-2024. The year ain't over yet. The year is young. We got a ways to go. Um, Nachos Bell Grande up 80% from $3.29 to $5.89. So you see, not even Taco Bell um, is... As for that used to be the place where people, oh, that's affordable. College students uh, used to love Taco Bell because, you know, you didn't need a lot of money to get some of the food. And, and I know what's going to also happen on this video. I'm going to get uh, folk, the uh, dietary elite, who are going to say things like, well, you shouldn't be eating that food anyway. Okay. Um... Good for you. You eat at Whole Foods every day. You can afford it. That's that's excellent. I think people should be able to eat whatever the hell they want to eat. Um, you know, we got a country that is saying that you should actually be able to, if you want to, identify as a, a cat. All right. So um, if you can do that, you know, we could put a litter, bo litter box out for you. Then why the hell can't you eat a Taco Bell if you want to? Right. Uh is it the best food in the world for you? No. Uh, but I'm certainly guilty of not eating 100% healthy 100% of the time. I don't think anybody is, quite frankly. Uh, but whatever. Chick-fil-A. All right. Jesus is chicken. They have also been crucified by inflation. And I don't say that to be blasphemous, but that is what's happening. We are getting hit every which way uh, by these high prices. We've got the deluxe chicken sandwich over at Chick-fil-A. Uh, it's up, let's just call it 80%, 79.5%. Gone from $3.65 to $6.55. Uh, but the most expensive uh, price hike over at the Chick-fil-A is my favorite meal. Well, my favorite item is the nuggets, the eight nuggets. They've gone from three hundred five to five ninety nine. That's up ninety six point four percent. Chick Fil A. What in the hell happened with this milkshake deal? The large milkshake used to be like large, right? Now it's like a courtesy cup, and they're calling that large. That is BS, Chick Fil A. Uh, it is up 64.7%, went from 315 to 519. There is no way on God's green earth I am paying $5 for this. You're out of your mind, Chick-fil-A. Anyway, um, we don't have this too tough in our area, in and out burger, but I hear they are uh, great. The hamburger. The staple of a place called In N Out Burger up 66.7%, gone from 210 to 350. Burger King, the famous Whopper, is up 
0.9%. It's up 86%. Uh, the bacon double cheeseburger is up 117%. Went from 229 to 499. So guys, look, this is just absolutely unsustainable. Okay. Uh, buy the ground beef. Experiment. Okay. You know what tastes really good? Uh, where the hell did the hamburger bun come from? Because I like my hamburgers between two pieces of white bread. Is it just me? Is it just nostalgia for the way that my family cooked them when I was young? Because eh, eh, hamburger roll was like a luxury. Okay, I'm not thinking about no hamburger roll. Um, and there's a restaurant. They call themselves the uh, originator of the hamburger. They're up in... Uh, Connecticut, right outside Yale, and uh, they say that they are the ones that invented the hamburger, but they use the white bread. They don't use a bun, and it's called Lewis's Lunch. Seen them on like uh, food reviews and whatnot, mixed reviews. Uh, they don't use ketchup. I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, guys, um, go to grocery store. Okay, we got another video that shows you how you can get together with your family and like-minded individuals in your circle and leverage that grocery store piece to save a lot of money. Here's the video right here. Watch it and uh, let me know what you think about it. Subscribe to this channel. Hit that thumbs up. Guys, I'll talk to you soon.